man who's an expert on this subject is Russian opposition activist and blogger Alexei Navalny, who has several short spells in prison under his belt. His brother Oleg is in jail now on, critics say, trumped up charges as a political hostage. In a Newsnight exclusive, Alexei Navalny has spoken to John Sweeney about Litvinenko, his own fight to free Russia from corruption and whether it's worth the risk. Welcome to Lake Baikal here in Siberia. Well, actually, it's South End on the Sea, but you don't need a visa to get to Essex. We're here because Alexei Navalny, the effective leader of the Russian opposition, has declared war on the seagull in Russian Chaika. That's the name of Vladimir Putin's top law enforcement officer, Yuri Chaika, Russia's prosecutor general. The scourge of the seagulls, Alexei Navalny, is banned from leaving Moscow and rarely gives interviews to the foreign media. Navalny led anti-Putin protests four years ago. Hi, John. More than any other Russian, Navalny is fighting the Kremlin over corruption. How much money is being sucked out of the Russian economy a year? Through corruption, I think it's at least something about 50 billion dollars a year. How corrupt do you think is Mr. Vladimir Putin? He's a czar of corruption. He's the basement of this corruption. And he's personally involved in corruption and he's encouraging our official for corruption because it's his way of ruling country. Navalny knows all too well what happens to people who challenge the Kremlin's power. One year ago, his friend and opposition leader Boris Nemtsov was shot dead in Moscow. Boris Nemtsov was my friend and he was shot dead maybe uh, 100, uh, 100 uh, meters from the Kremlin. I asked him about the strange murder of Alexander Litvinenko. Is it possible to buy polonium in a shop in Russia? Uh, that's why I guess uh, your, uh, your investigation shows that it was a FSB operation. The uh, British investigation about Mr. Uh, Mr. Litvinenko and one of the conclusions of this investigation was that uh, Mr. Putin uh, personally probably involved in getting orders to Mr. Lugavoy uh, to commit such crimes. On Monday, Navalny will launch the English language version of his documentary on corruption in Russia. The thrust of Navalny's film is that corrupt officials are gorging on billions of dollars worth of Russia as well, just like the seagulls on these ships. The film alleges multi-million dollar corruption by the sons of Prosecutor General Yuri Chaika. Это Артем Юрьевич Чайка. Артем Чайка and Igor Чайка. Seen here with the Prime Minister Dmitry Medvedev and the Patriarch, Russia's version of the Archbishop of Canterbury. Corruption in Russia not became uh, something like, you know, white collar crime or something. Uh, we wanted to show this uh, level of the degradation of Russian power. In the film, he alleges that Artyom has gone into bed with gangsters. They are not just corrupt, they are involved in murders, in tortures, and raiding uh, businesses, etc., etc. Human fireflies come as standard when you're launching your hotel worth 30 million euros. Welcome to the opening ceremony for the Pomegranate Wellness Spa Hotel in Greece. Cutting the ribbon, Artyom Chaika. Russia Inc. turned out for the gig. This is Vladimir Medinsky, who said that Russians have an extra chromosome, which makes them supermen. He's not a geneticist, but Russia's Minister of Culture. 
Artyom Chaika's business associates in Pomegranate, Navalny alleges, have been close to the Sapok crime family. Six years ago, the gang committed a massacre. It was a crime which, uh, you know, uh, shake uh, the whole Russia because it was a real massacre and 12 people were killed, including four children. One newborn children, they threw him in the fire uh, while uh, he was alive. But that's not all. The film also alleges that Artyom stole a shipping company in the Lake Baikal region from underneath its owners. Its director complained about Artyom. The next day, he was found dead with a rope around his neck. Suicide, said the authorities. But uh, according to the uh, paper from the coroner office, the trace on his neck uh, showed that it, uh, it wasn't a suicide, but Russian investigative bodies, they just uh, refused to uh, uh, have any investigation. You tried to ask Artyom Chaika for a response, but got no answer. But his dad, the prosecutor general, Yuri Chaika, has said of Navalny's film that it was a black PR action and a hatchet job. And the information presented is deliberately falsified and has no basis in fact, adding that it was paid for by the British and the Americans. Navalny isn't just challenging a few people called Chaika, Seagull. He's also taking aim at the system in Russia, which he thinks is rotten, and of course, the man in charge of that system. I don't know.